sound test room. Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room, where today we're going to take a look at Cyclop by Sugar Bites. So Cyclop is a, a, a beast, it's a monster, uh, but it can be tamed and manipulated and made to do what you want it to do. Um, okay, so it, look, I mean, this may be a little bit blurry, and I ummed and ahed about doing um, the VST version with screen capture so you could actually see what was going on. Um, because it's exactly the same, pretty much exactly the same. If you understand how that works and watch the tutorials, which are mainly VST, uh, you'll get a good idea of what's going on. Okay, so it, uh, it says it's a bass, bass synth. It's a lot more than a bass synth, okay, but it is monophonic, means you can only play one note at a time. It is MIDI, um, so you it's it's mega MIDI, so you can route anything anywhere, you can map anything to any control you like, uh, but I'm just playing with this, and um, also you can plug it into a, a MIDI keyboard and just play it. Also, uh, you can modulate everything. It's it's madness. Okay, so I'm going to run through some of the patches, and I'm also going to do a little bit of sound manipulation, I guess, try and explain what everything kind of does, basically. Um, as best I can, I'll probably get stuff wrong. But this is one of the presets. You notice when you hit a note, things move. Okay, I kind of guess the best way to do this would be to work backwards instead of working forwards. So instead of starting with an initial patch, I'll start with, well, we'll start with this one for a start off. And I'll take stuff off so you can see what's going on. Okay, so first of all, uh, this here, this page here, this uh, selects your different modulation routines if you like. So you have um, the envelope, step sequencer, and uh, your sound control here. Your sound control is probably the most basic modulation um, thing you can do. But I'll show you. I'll try and show you. Okay, so you have two th two synthesizers. And inside those synthesizers are another six. So you have six six synthesizers. So you have 12 synthesizers, basically. But you can only use two at a time, okay? And then you can route these. You can see S1, S2, and F1, and F2. So these are the filters, filters one and two. Filter two is now switched off and now switched on. So we change that straight away. Okay, so what we can do here is let's see if we hit this little record icon here actually no what we shall do is go to wobble, wobble. right if the little record icon here you can see it changes for different things the amount the sound the effects this is how you're automating you can automate just by record but this is how you're automating your sound so it's on a wobble amount at the moment okay and it'll be wobble a but we can change the wobble B as well, but we're going to stick with that, and we're going to clear that. So, okay, and let's just clean that as well. So now the other thing that's modulating now is sound. We'll kill that and all. That doing nothing, and we'll switch it off so it isn't playing. So you get the kind of idea there. Now, if I wanted to uh, apply some changes to this control, here, synth one, synth two, F one and F two. Across the top here, you'll see these. So if I wanted my sound knob to control the format control on Transformer 1, with Synth 1, which is set on Transformer. All I need to do is move this knob here, that, sorry, this slider, let's see if I can do this with this. This slider here, up like this, and then... Now you can see that when I have made a connection here, this will the center of this will light up. 
And you might think, well, you know, I might as well do that with this. But no, we see, because we can control all the different things. So we could, Synth 2 isn't switched on, but what we can do now is control this. So if I, let's see what it sounds like. Cool beans. So we'll control the position of Synth 2 as well with the with the one sound knob. Okay, so if I switch on play, that's what was what was already programmed, but we could hit record there and uh, and you see it's recorded in the information now. So we can also set the loop points here. So if we didn't want it to be quite so um, all over the whole range, we can just set our range to to where we like here, and you'll you'll see it run across. So that's how you do it, and that's how you that's how you can do every single one of these controls. By the way, you just select it because we're on sound at the moment, and there's the amount. Amount switches between, you've got like this modulation control here. Well, you have actually have two modulation controls. You have A and B, and you can blend and mix and swap between each one. So, for instance, if we were in uh, the, 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 the wobble, the wobble here. Let's see. Um, so, I'm, I'm starting to forget stuff, but don't, don't, just bear with me. Okay, so, we can see, I'm still on sound. Let's go to wobble amount now. Now you have A and B, see? And they're both completely blank. There's no modulation applied. But if I say the first two there is pitch and then volume, okay? And this, this is now recorded, this is on the amount, wobble amount. Okay, so for instance, let's see what happens if I... <laughs> If I swing over, so synth one is now the. This is now controlling the the. Uh, Let's randomize that. Okay, so let's add in some more modulation. To modulate the filters a bit as well. frequency oscillator and now let's let's record some um let's record some movement but we can just draw it in we don't have to press record so if we just draw in some changes there <laughs> Okay, and just press play. So there you go. So you can see how that you can then control and, and and add adjust modulation and stuff and all the rest of it. So very very cool, very deep. Okay, the best thing to do is get it and play around with it. You'll have a lot of fun. So the thing is, so let's just now clean out any other bits and pieces that we had in. And let me see. We can just do that as well. And we can do that as well. So we should be left with a 
Green was basic, sort of straightforward sound. <laughs> You can add a bit of reverb there. Now, <clears throat> if we hit this here, we go to our effects and we can see that we have a few effects in. Now, I'm going to show you some stuff you can do, which is very cool with the effects. Okay, so you can see that as I was taking effects out there, things were disappearing on this, this wheel here. And then you can also see that if I move the wheel, it will jump to the next block. So you, you kind of get the idea that these four first sections are this four here. So you can stack up to four effects, okay? And each each block is a slightly different uh, type of effect. So this first block here, now you get this on, you don't double tap or touch, you just touch and swipe up. And your first one there will be, um, I think is phaser. I know it's really hard to see, but you could use the zoom control on the iPad, you know, to set this up and then you could zoom in quicker. Actually, we could do that. We just go to settings and accessibility, zoom and we can switch zoom on and our little icon will appear here i hope you can see this because of the light but there you go and then we can go back and our zoom our zoom control is here now if we t uh, t double tap on our zoom it appears and you can get a good look so i shall leave it there a second i'll just scroll through the effects so the first one is phaser and then you've got phaser two and then you have chorus and then chorus is three and four and then you have a delay and then you have another delay. And then you have reverb, and then uh, another reverb, and that's it. So you have those on that first block there. On the second one here, you have a tape stop, which is very cool, a second tape stop, a vinyl, fourth vinyl, and then you have a six, uh, number five is vinyl, and then you have scratches, various scratches. Okay, so that's that one there. Then you have different loopings, here, seven, eight different types of loop, and then this one is a a, a, a pitch, so different types of pitch adjustment. Uh, I think it's LP. I mean low pass. I don't know, but anyway, you have eight different type of pitch effects. Now these are, are very cool. If we apply, you can see this. Here's the sound. Here's the dead sound. So let's apply um, a phaser. Let's apply one to there as well. Actually, let's apply a chorus and it's already delay to the second one. So if we manually move, let's do this by hand. We can move this up there. There's the delay. And if we set this to play, right, this is playing now. See what starts to happen. Let's put a tape stop in here so that you get a, a, a better idea. So as it's playing, it will roll around. Okay, let's do this. Let's put a loop in there. Let's put a different one in. And let's put a different type of stop after that. And then let's do this pitch thing. So let's see what we've got now. Okay. Now, let's see what else we can do in. Let's put in... And let's put a reverb on the last one. Not the reverbs are the last. You don't want them to stop there. And we can do some other effects. The vinyl here. Oh, you see, that's the other thing as well. You can stack up to four in each in each section okay and again you can record automation however you like it, or you can you can you can draw it in to do it however you like 
Okay, so um, that's the thing with this. And these are your different levels here. I don't wonder if we didn't hear the reverb there. So, and the triggering is is explained in the manual, but, you know, it's going to take me too long to, because I can't remember what it said now. Anyway, but, hey, let's try this one. And uh, there you go. <laughs> there you go, guys. There's, there's, there's how the effects work. It's genius. It's genius. Okay. And then, of course, you can sort of switch everything back on. And we could... Actually, we, don't, we didn't do that, did we? So we could draw in... Where's our wobble? Um, let's draw in some... Okay, and there's a. It's got mad. So we've automated it. And of course, we can. And this is a tempo synced length, okay? So, you know. Alright, so. Let's just choose. Now, let me show you about the. Um, the, the 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 browser here so you have um it, this is brilliant this is the cloud so if you wanted something let's see something simple and then you can you see it just changes is it simple there simple and punchy simple punchy with one shot simple punchy and sharp and it begins to like take everything down you see so we could take them out again it's a good way to find your presets. This is a MIDI program list. Uh, it's to do with your controller settings and stuff as well. Although it will change, but then it's mapped, pre-mapped kind of stuff, I think. So let's uh, see. Okay, let's go vocal. And, okay, that'll do. Let's um, go this one and we can close it. And then it's... <laughs> So I don't know what effects they've got applied. Okay, so and let's choose a different synth. Actually, this would be a good one for this. So, so here we have a little bit of reverb. You have your gate here as well, so what happens? What what happens when we do this? So that's very cool, yeah. And we could draw it all out, and then just draw it all back in. Now I'm gonna have a quick uh, deco at this now. These are your sort of controls here for your keyboard, and these are your global effects. So we'll have a look at those two things. <laughs> okay, so let me just um, double tap on that then. So we'll move it over. So first of all, you see you have attack. So attack works as you would think it would work. Okay. As, as does decay and release. Okay. Now velocity. You can hear if I move move my finger up it would be the same as a keyboard the less the less you use this but if i see it adjusting volume we turn velocity off and it's it's the same okay now glide this is very cool if we put this on to glide okay now the best way to use this is two finger glide two finger glide is just it's just fabulous. So let's put that there like that. And if it's on two finger glide, nothing will happen if I, unless I, I'm, I'll show you. But don't forget it's monophonic. But see, it's just ordinary chromatic. So you get that how that works there. 
Um, okay, guys. So basically, basically, there's th sort of you know, your your basic type things. This is your um, kind of your modulation routing as well. So I'm not going to get into because I'll I'll just blow it. Um, let's see. We're back on effects there as well. So let's take those two stop effects out and let's uh, just some of these reverbs. And we're playing. Them. Let's uh, change a couple of them. Silly. Let's have some choruses, <laughs> delay. This is very cool. It's a nice effect if you have if you have it on like a, a really long glide. So it's on a long glide. So you can use it as a lead synth as well, by the way, not just a bass synth. Now, just let me get into this a sec. This here, okay, let's move that over there. These here are your global, global effects, okay? So we have sub oscillator set on. And then you have stereo width. Things things change because of the uh, zoom thing. But and then this one, which is a uh, diode, it's diode type distortion. So. Get rid of now. So you can hear the effect. Now you're not just uh, limited to that type of distortion. I don't know if you can see this because of the thing, but you have amp, distortion, drive, distortion, distortion, diode, clip, sign, one bit crushing, digitize. So let's try digitize. Let's take it off and just. can truly get mangled up completely so we'll have a look at uh, a few of the others as well let's go with some of the other type of sounds so let's say there's some layered here and we want oh let's say we want some uh well it says polyphonic but i don't think it is but there you go now it's just detuned before as well also we can limit by looping how this works so it'll go between the two effects let's put a nice stop in there
filters, okay. Filters are kind of self-explanatory. Various types of filtering. Don't forget as well also that you can use the sound control. You can use the uh, sound control to program your your filter changes for your synth. So let's try filter two, cut off for the sound control. And let's. You, you, you could go on all day but you get the basic idea you can modulate everything you can control everything there are literally tons and tons and tons of presets in here for you to mess around with and of course then you can all go into the, the you know save your own stuff and all the rest of it and what have you and all right guys uh, <laughs> enjoyed this um maybe tim uh, tim web discord will do a really really good one on rooted modulation properly and stuff and but you can see how it kind of works you know it's pretty it's once you get your head around the fact that the stacks of stuff well, once you get your head around it works it's not like impossible you know you can you can you can do lots and lots of really really cool stuff with it you know and you like i said you can record these changes however you like <clears throat> oh it's very cool it's very cool but again you know uh, thesis egoist wow they're all brilliant aren't they you know all right guys hope you enjoyed this uh, visit the sandtestroom.com like the video subscribe uh, be kind become a patron or make a donation and uh, me colin and jacob will uh, we'll see you later